What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I want to go over the latest news with Destiny 2. And there's a few things to chat about. Firstly, Bungie have spoke out about and addressed the Three of Coins issue and basically admitting that they are broke. Did you guys watch my video from Saturday? I said this very thing in that video. He had it active and it doesn't end there either. I have seen so many tweets and comments from people telling me the exact same thing. These things are BS and they do not work. So what's actually going on here with these? Well I think I actually know the answer. These have been put in place purposely by Bungie so that we will burn away our stacks of legendary shards, which we have built up since the release due to there being nothing to use them on. And no doubt within the new year when Bungie are back in office, they will come and state in something like this, oh yes we are aware of three of coins and upon further inspection there seems to be a bug. They haven't been working as intended. A fix will come out about the same time Destiny 6 is released. And will we receive any compensation? Heck no we won't. Now look what Bungie said, hey all throughout the weekend we've been monitoring player feedback concerning the recent added 3 coins consumable offered by Zer. We'd like to give clarification on the functionality of this item. When players use a 3 coins consumable this provides a 50% increase to the base chance of being rewarded an exotic engram upon activity completion. Using this consumable does not guarantee an exotic reward upon completing a set number of activities but rather increased chances upon each activity completion. Note, we have found that heroic strikes do not currently grant higher chances for exotics when using the 3 of coins consumable compared to vanguard strikes. We are looking to address this with a future hotfix expected in early 2018. Now did I call it or did I call it? So where's the compensation? Oops, there's not going to be anything. Nowhere in this mention does it mention anything about all the legendary shards we've wasted uh, basically on these three coins that don't work in heroic strikes. Let's go back and actually see what they said again. When players use their three coins consumable, this provides a 50% increase to the base chance of being rewarded an exotic engram upon activity completion. That has got to be a joke, people. Am I wrong? I don't think I am. I can't be the only one thinking that. They then go on to mention this, we found that heroic strikes do not currently grant higher chances of exotics when using the three coins consumable compared to the vanguard strikes. Mate, mate, what the flip are you talking about? These things ain't working in PvP, they ain't working in public events, they ain't working anywhere for that matter. It's not just heroic strikes. And as I said in my video from Saturday, this will be addressed within the new year. What a surprise, it seriously makes me laugh, it really does. Okay, so we're going to move on from that BS. Today they launched the first web-based free comic book, which is the first of a series. If you want to check it out, you'll find it linked within the video description. It's called The Fall of Osiris, and to be honest, it's pretty epic, definitely worth a read for sure. Obviously though, that's if you're into comics. Now at the end of this comic, there is a hidden code, which once deciphered, it turns out to be a hidden emblem code for Destiny 2. Big shout out to Griff for this, he is the one who sent me this info literally a few minutes after the comic was released. If you want to check out his Twitch, you'll find the link within the video description. So yes, this comic, which is epic, and I won't spoil it for you guys, beholds an emblem code, which you can see on screen now. To get this code, simply log into your Bungie.net account. Obviously, you need to be linked to your gamer profile, whether that's Xbox or PlayStation or PC, and simply enter this code you can see on screen now. It's as simple as that, people. Moving on, and Bungie Help recently tweeted this. We are investigating reports that some players have received duplicate exotic rewards from fated engrams. More information will be provided once available. And I've actually had people tell me about this. They have been receiving exotics that they already own. I did mention something kind of similar in a video about fated engrams and a possible glitch with them. As sometimes if you inspect an exotic engram, you have over one you don't have and it says that you have it in your collection already. I wondered if the same thing happens when you inspect a fated engram and does it if it does state that an exotic that you don't actually own is already in your collection does this eliminate that exotic from dropping from this fated engram for you? That is a question we still have but this is kind of opposite to the effect that they basically mentioned here. It giving you exotics that you already have is literally the exact opposite of what these things should do. Can Bungie do anything right? I don't even know at this point. 
And to end the video, let's talk about the dawn into more. I'm actually looking forward to it for sure. I just hope, although we know deep down it will be the case, I just hope that all that epic looking loot isn't locked behind blue light engrams. Hopefully with the milestones that come with this dawning event, we see a decent turnover of loot. As otherwise, it's kind of like them giving us an incentive to purchase silver, like it's what they mean to do behind this event. If they only allow us to get certain items, uh, yet the rest are locked behind a paywall, that is truly scummy, and if they do people, you know I will call them out on it for sure, because as much as I do love this game, I ain't going to be sitting here kissing ass when they're trying to pull covers over their heads. You can count on me for that for sure, and on that note guys, I am out. If you want to read more about the Dawn event, which I've already covered in a previous video, you'll find a link to the latest Bungie update within the video description, which tells you all about the Dawning and what it offers. But yes guys, thanks for stopping by as always. If you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really does help me out. And hopefully people, I will see you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand. Get it right.